everyone and happy November February good thing I know my months right today's video is a favorites video and I do these every single month and you guys seem to like them so if you like them and you're not already subscribed to this channel go ahead and subscribe because I post videos pretty regularly like two times a week um, I need to get onto a schedule and also be sure to check out my social media links and like this video before we get started. So I have a bunch of favorites this month and we're just going to go ahead and start with the fashion. First favorite is this blouse or tunic or whatever you want to call it. A lot of people were commenting on the haul video that I just posted um, saying that like your style is changing or whatever. But I really find that these tunics are like preppier like I'm just growing up I'm just doing my thing like it happens like anyways this is a show me or moo moo Jamie tunic and I absolutely love it it's just got palm trees on it and I just think it's so tropical it makes me so happy and I've actually worn it three times already and I've had it for like a month but like it's not really like winter appropriate so delightful like it's so flowy which is good I have a lot of accessories this month because I'm an accessory queen, I guess you could say. And the first one is this Michael Kors watch. And a homegirl cannot have too many watches. Am I right, ladies? Yep, I am. I actually got this off of Rue La La, which is a flash website. Um, so they have sales that last like two days. And this one was like 160 something. I'll be linking that in the down bar. I have a direct link to this uh, watch already so you guys can look at it but it's just got like the globe on it and I think it's really really neat because it's very like eye-catching but at the same time it's a very simple like gold watch because it is just like plain around the edging and everything like that I've been loving this wearing it every single day the next two things are actually bracelets that I got and when I was at the bloggers who beach uh, trip that I went on with my friends the first one is this Kendra Scott iridescent um, druzy bracelet. It's extremely, extremely sparkly. When I was in Hilton Head, I was actually at a bar and a guy came up to me and was like, that's the most beautiful bracelet that I've ever seen. And it was like really creepy, but he liked it. So if you want compliments from random guys at bars, I don't know. And then I have this one, which is a Monica Vernader. I might have pronounced that wrong because I do that all the time. My friend Sydney um, actually got us all one of these. That was extremely nice of her and an extremely awesome surprise. And it's just got my name engraved on it, which I'm all about personalizing things as you guys know so I love this and I literally only take it off to sleep in shower but that's it I put it on every day and it's really cool because you can get different colored roping I'm like really blinged out the next thing are a pair of earrings and literally I forgot that I even owned these I was cleaning my room before I went on my trip and I actually came across a Kendra Scott box and inside of it were a pair of earrings and I was just like when did I get these? I don't know what they're called. They're like mini Skylar earrings and they're just studs. This one is a turquoise one and they're just really dainty, but at the same time they kind of add a pop of color to your look. So I like to wear this like when my outfits are looking a little boring and I don't really want to wear a full on like Danielle dangly earring. So I don't know. I never really imagined me loving the studs from Kendra Scott as much as I do, but of course, it's Kendra Scott. So I obviously love it. Oh, by the way, um, a lot of people think that she sponsors my videos. She doesn't. I'm just literally obsessed. And the last Kendra Scott jewelry item I've been loving, I kept it in this box because I'm so scared that I'm going to lose it, is this ring. And they actually sell this in a turquoise, which I kind of want to buy that one too because this one's like a like an iridescent kind of color and you just put it on like this and it's just kind of got a stone statement I don't know I think it's really really cool and just something different she's really like known for these kind of like quirky like in between rings I just think that this is absolutely stunning oh, putting that back in the box before I break anything mm. so a few weeks ago I ordered a new pair of glasses because I thought I actually lost my black like big Ray-Bans. Literally right after I got these ones in the mail, I went out to my car to clean it, found them. These are my cop glasses, they make me feel like a cop and yes, people always comment, they're like, I can see your messy room and this isn't my room anymore. And they're the 62 inch or millimeter or whatever frame glasses. I like these ones better because I have a big face as a lot of people like to comment on. They call me a bobblehead. And another fashion favorite accessory wise is my never full p gm gm that's the biggest one right and i actually purchased this off of 
Tradesy, I think is what it's called. And no, they're not sponsoring this video either. I literally just stumbled across this website and I've been wanting one of these, but I didn't want to pay the full price. And I ended up getting this one. It's completely authentic. It came from like actual, like Tradesy client thing. You just have to be really careful, make sure you get all the pictures and everything. But I got a, I love it. It's seriously the perfect purse for if you travel a lot, like this girl, I travel a ton. I know I got like $25 off on my first purchase, so I think I can get a code and put that in the down bar for you guys too if you're interested. Yay! And then I have two beauty products which I'm obsessed with. The first one is something that I've talked about in favorites video before, but I was using my Naked Foundation and then I switched to this and now I'm like, oh my god, I forgot how much I love this. Like a little cycle. This is the Silk Cream Foundation from Laura Mercier and all I really want to say about this is one, it's kind of expensive and two, it literally makes you look like you have flawless skin and next is a lip product. This is the Inglot lipstick in the color 58 and it's of course just the typical Cerebelle color. But I've worn this to school like every single day since I've randomly found it in one of my purses. And I love it. it Recently I just bought the MAC Rebel lipstick and it kind of reminds me of it but a little bit more like wearable. You can already have lipstick on. Mm, I love it. I think it's so flattering. And then the next thing I actually forgot at home. Actually the next two things I kind of forgot at home. The first one is... My Clarisonic, I love this thing. I actually just posted a video um, talking about all the benefits that Clarisonic has done for my skin. But literally, guys, like two weeks later, my oh my god, like my skin seriously has cleared up so much, and it's like just completely cleared up around here, and that makes me so happy. And like I can go outside without wearing makeup, which is the best thing ever. So big hallelujah to Clarisonic. And then the next thing is a random favorite, and those are the Brooke, no, not Brooke side, but these are the Bolt side, Bolt, crap, I already forgot what it's called. It's called the Bolt House Farms. The Bolt House Farms smoothies, and I really like the cherry one and then the strawberry banana one, and they're really good. I like to eat them as my lunch. I know a lot of people are going to get their panties in a bundle about that, but it has so much fiber. The cherry one especially has, in that bottle alone, has 64% of your daily fiber, which is great. and has so many vitamins and minerals that you need, and I just think that they're so refreshing. The strawberry banana one honestly tastes a lot better than the cherry one. The cherry one kind of tastes like medicine, but, you know, sometimes you just got to pull through. I get them at my Kroger for two for three dollars, which is not bad at all. Then, now moving on to my music part. The music section is always one of my favorite parts of my favorites videos because I love music. Who doesn't love some music? I know I'm sorry. This one is, that's the face it makes me make whenever I listen to it, and it's Love Me Like You Do by Ellie Golding. Oh my god, guys. I know this is probably in everybody's favorites video this month, but it's from the Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, soundtrack and I cannot wait for the rest of the soundtrack to come out because literally eargasm it's just a very like ugh. and then of course I had to include a country song because it's me Sarah Bell Ding. this one is by Tyler Farr and it's called a guy walks into a bar and I just really like this song I mean it's not really got like any emotional like connection for me or anything like that but it's just ultimately a good song so I give that one a thumbs up it wins this country song of the month in Sarah Bell's favorites video. So that concludes my favorites video for the month of January 2015, which is wild that it's, you know, 2015 and January's over. Weird. Be sure to subscribe if you would like to see more of these videos and have like alerts whenever I post a new one, which is really, really cool. And also check out all my social media links, which I'll put right here. And until next time, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.